Hello YouTubers, beer geeks, and beer hounds alike. Bill here, we're going to do a beer review from the bathroom. Okay. This one is by um, Topa Topa, Topa Topa Brewing Company. And uh, this one's called Level Line Pale Ale, and it comes in at 5% alcohol by volume. And it says, uh, testing notes, lemongrass, tangerine, and woodsy. I've never had this before. I've seen it before, but I never grabbed for it because it's so high in alcohol. I mean, so low in alcohol. It's only 5%. But uh, since uh, I'm getting over something, I'm kind of building my way back up with lighter beers and... Uh, that's just what we're doing. So that's what the can looks like. I heard about this beer. I heard it's really good actually for a pale ale. That's lighter and ABV. It says, as you wade in the current, the work week fades to gray. When the line strikes and you begin that delicate dance, there's no choice but to be in the moment. The refreshing Citrus aromas and woodsy notes are like the creek passing through the forest. It's a West Coast Pale Ale for a West Coast way of life. And they are from Ventura, California. And this puppy is like two months old. Okay, once again, I got this at Total Wine and More for like two fifty for one can. One twelve ounce can. So let's uh, get her crack open and see what we got here. I'm gonna do an aggressive pour. Okay. I don't know why I decided to do aggressive pour. I just did. Cause it's fun. All right. Top of top. Of. I did a couple of their other beers. Uh, they were very, very good, actually. Okay. Spectro and some other one I can't remember, but uh, Cheap Peak or something like that. Really good. Really good. Okay. Well, let's do the old switcheroo here. There we go. So get this cleared up. It's got a monster, frothy, creamy, foamy, silky head. A lot of bubbles in the middle. Popping open there. Okay. And um, we have a slightly hazy, like amber color here. Nice looking amber color. Maybe a little more orangey than amber. Like a little darker amber, but a little hazy. So you can see. Okay. Can't really see much through it, though. Not much. All right. Pretty hazy. I don't think it's a hazy they're going for though. I just think it's a slightly uh, unfiltered. I can see through it though. Okay. All right. Well, let's get an aroma on this puppy. Nice thick head though. It's real, real creamy now. Okay, right up front, I'm getting some citrusy kind of hop notes, like a kind of orange. Yeah, I'm getting like orange, maybe some slight grapefruit. Smells pretty light on the aroma, though. Okay, pretty light aroma. Yeah, kind of orangey, a little grapefruity, maybe tangerine.
More like tangerine, I would say, actually. It smells pretty good. Let's get a hit. Cheers. Taste follows the aroma. About a month and a half old. Okay. Really nice uh, head retention. Really good looking lacing on the glass there. It's got medium mouthfeel, real smooth mouthfeel. So I'm going to hit on this for a little bit and I'll be right back, okay? Okay, I'm back. Uh, I've been drinking on it for a while. It's leaving some really, really nice lacing on the glass. Um, the biggest thing I can really tell you about this beer is it's got an awesome, really awesome malt backbone uh, mouthfeel to it. Super smooth and creamy. Excellent head retention. It's hard to believe it's only 5%, really, with that kind of uh, head retention and malt backbone to it. It hits like a beer that's like 7 but there's not much going on in the flavor department actually. It's very faint. Not really defined. I'm just not picking up a really strong aroma. I'm picking up a little malt sweetness in there and a little bit of like citrusy kind of notes. Maybe like orange. But it's really hard to tell. But this thing's got a really awesome, it hits really good. And it's very smooth, but it's not like super tasty. It's there. It's got a little bit of bitterness too, a little hop bitterness in there. A little bit of citrusiness, um, but it's not really defined. It's hard to really define, to describe what I'm tasting because it's not really defined. I guess you could say maybe a tad bit of apricot and just some kind of generally citrusy hop notes and a little bit of general kind of malt sweetness in there. It, it, I wish it was just a little hoppier. I'm not getting any like real flavors out of it, but I'm getting a great mouthfeel like an epic mouthfeel for a pale ale I mean it's almost creamy to the mouth when you drink it it goes down real good it, it's tasty but it's not tasty it's not off-putting at all it's just the flavors are not popping rip it Yeah, that's pretty much what I got on this puppy. Um, very well constructed beer. Maybe if I'd have got it a little fresher instead of more like a month and a half or two months, where it's almost two months old. You know, um, I don't think pale ales are supposed to be super hoppy. I think they're just supposed to be very drinkable, which this is. This would be awesome sessional beer, session beer. You, you could just pound these, you know, for the whole six pack probably. Super easy to drink, pretty enjoyable, um, real good, pretty good price. I think this goes for like I don't know, 11 bucks for a six pack, pretty good price. Um, it's a pale ale, it's not an IPA, it's a pale ale. It's, it's not supposed to be super hoppy, it's supposed to be just a, a very good, you know, drinkable beer. You can sit down and session wish, session wish, session with is pretty much what this beer is. So, um with that said, on a scale of one to five stars, uh, two and a half being C, just average, I'm going to give this puppy a 3.9. It's pretty damn tasty. Is it the best pale ale I've ever had? No, it's not. But it's a very well constructed pale ale that's enjoyable and make it very good. Um, maybe possibly a, a, a transitional beer for somebody that's trying to get into craft beer. This would be a good candidate for that or something you want to session with for a few hours definitely would be a good one for that too 
Uh, tasty beer, so 3.9 it is. That's my story. I'll stick with that. I'll have the description of this beer at the bottom of the video in the description section. Please like and subscribe. I really appreciate that. I'll give this puppy horns up. Hell yeah. Alright, so 3.9 it is. Y'all have an awesome evening and we'll check you later. See ya.